uh, Maytag, if you're watching this, I, I didn't, really didn't think there was a need for this, but a uh, dryer welder combo. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to use that right now. Let's see how it goes. god look at that do you see that oh my goodness wow oh it fits So uh, today's unexpected distraction from working on the boiler today is going to be uh, it's going to be about the importance of buying a gas detector and uh, frequently checking for gas leaks. This is something I checked before. I don't know what it is about today, the humidity, the temperature, but uh, yeah, this is a little frightening. So yeah, check this out. Where are we? Right here. So yeah, I definitely have a gas leak there. Um, I'm gonna obviously I'm done tearing the boiler apart for right now, and most of that line just you know that line just goes over to the boiler. And quite honestly, if you're looking at it, it's a mess. You know I don't know what size this is. It might be like inch and a half doesn't look like two inch looks like inch and a half inch and a quarter 
But uh, anyway, I'm going to have to take this all apart. I'm going to have to shut the gas off and take this whole line apart back to here. And then, uh, yeah, I guess my next video is going to be about uh, pipe dope and stuff. It's hard to see what they put in there. It almost looks like they didn't put anything in. On the other side of the pipe, it looks very dry as well. So I don't know if there's pipe dope in there or what, but... Um, yeah, that's kind of a big deal. So I'm going to go fix that right there. Alrighty. So I'm going to put the camera down. I got some real work to do. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.